quick video showing how we can um, control the visibility of surface and mesh geometry on drawings. So I've got this assembly here. We've got a, a normal standard component down the bottom, which is the palette. And then we've got two mesh components on the top and a surface body over here. So when I create a drawing of this, by default, um, these views aren't shown on the drawing. Now we can go to the specific drawing view and we can go and turn these on, but it's a bit of a pain if you've got multiple views and you, you want to show these all the time. So what I've done is I've created a very simple iLogic rule. At the top over here, we, we just define our views. And then what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through the drawing. So we're basically going to go and say, count up the views for me. So that's what this 4i equals 1 does. And then what we're doing is down the bottom over here, we're going on the active sheet. And this is where we use the count. So if it's view 1, um, make the mesh bodies visible equal to true view. And then the next one is obviously, again, view 1 includes surface bodies. Then it'll loop through again. And it'll go and say, well, OK, now there's two views. So view 2, view 3, view 4, etc. And it'll go through and turn those on for you. So let's have a look. If we right click on our view over here and we run the rule, it's now going to go through and it's going to first turn on the mesh and then it's going to turn on the surfaces. And that's it. Job done. The iLogic code is available on my blog and there should be a link to that below the video. Thanks for having a look. Thank you.